Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full review video including first impressions, unboxing, try on of Rosie's workwear and specifically the bib overalls, one of which I am wearing right now. This is not a sponsored video, I'm not getting paid to talk about these overalls. I was sent them for free, but that's as far as it goes. I chose to make a review video because I'm pretty excited about the products and the company and I wanted to share it with you guys. So first of all, I will show you just how excited I was to receive my overalls and I'll show you kind of an unboxing and my first impressions and trying them on for the first time. I'm so excited. My Rosie's overalls have arrived. I'm going to open them up and try them on. What is it? They are overalls. Ooh, cute. They are such a nice color. Um, they did actually send me two. Ooh, they're different colors. I was between sizes, so they have very kindly sent me a large and a medium, and we will see which one fits. So I brought them into the bedroom to kind of unpackage and try on, and I opened them up. They are such a nice quality, but they feel soft as well, like if they can be both sturdy and soft at the same time. So I was looking at them. now. One of the great features is you can zip off the legs. So if you are working in your overalls and getting hot, you can turn them into shorts, which I think is amazing. And they have these, and I was like, why are these pockets open at the bottom? Like, I didn't understand that. And I pulled this out. I thought, is this part of packaging? They are knee pads. If you're working outside, like how many times have I been dragging around my tiny little foam dollar store kneeling pad? And then you leave it behind. And you have to go fetch it to your new spot where you're working these stay with you. How cool is that? You can take them in and out, built in knee pads. I wanted to mention about the knee pads as well. You can see there's scissors there. If they don't actually fit you properly or they're not working for you, you can just trim them to fit how you want them to fit. So I'm like super stoked. Yeah, I was kind of screaming. So <laughs> I know when to get the camera. Um, this is the size medium. I'm going to try this. I'm kind of hoping both will fit. They have little buttons on the side. You've got pockets. You've got pockets on the legs, like cargo style. And you have a pocket on the front and a place to put your pens. And then they have these adjustable straps, which are elastic, which oh, I'm so stoked about that because sometimes when you wear overalls, when you're kind of like bending or stretching or moving, they can pull and not kind of flex with your body and these will. So that is super exciting. I cannot wait to try them on and see how they fit. What does the back look like? More pockets. That is awesome. I'm gonna get these on. Oh, look, there's a little hidden pocket on the inside where you can stash your phone or something and it's not gonna fall out. This is epic. Let's see how they fit. So I'm just putting these on and they fit great so far. But check this out. When you come to do your waist up, you can either do it there or if you wanted to like nip in at the waist better, you can do it there. So they are actually cut and like made to fit women's bodies and women's curves. So not only are they like super cute colors and designs, but yeah, they, they're made to fit a woman's body unlike most overalls that you buy. So let me just get this on and adjust it and then I'll show you how they look. So that is them on. I am finding the straps are actually too long. This is on the tightest and it's too long, but I do sew. So it's not a big deal to kind of just take them up. I love the comfort, like the fact that they flex. They feel really good. Um, they are long, but I don't mind just popping a hem up. And you can actually hem things with hot glue. I don't know if you know that. You can hem things with hot glue and they last pretty well. I've had jeans last years with hot glue, even through the wash and right. So this is feeling good. The pockets, whoops, nice and deep. Pockets there. Yeah, look at the back. I'm stoked. This I did put the waist on the tighter ones um, because I just felt like it was going to slip down otherwise. Let's see how it works in shorts mode. little shorts overalls. Awesome. Quick it is to zip back on. 
slide that in like you would at the bottom of a jacket whoops and then zip them back on probably be easier to do if I wasn't actually wearing them at the time but there you go the mess of us and the knee pads let's see oh perfect that is so good to just like go up and down and not have to drag your pad with you because they built in and obviously you can just take them out so how cute I look in my <laughs> Rosie's overalls so this is the other size the bigger size I haven't adjusted the straps or anything um, but the nice thing about these is I've actually got them on over a pair of pants so if I'm kind of busy and I need to go out somewhere later but I have a few minutes to nip out into the garden I don't actually have to go and change into scruffies I can just throw this on right over top of my clothes and then go and do some work so, yeah I keep wanting to put my hands into that <laughs> they are the pockets and that's the biggest size this is a large and the other one is a medium and I am a US 10 to 12 or UK New Zealand 14 to 16 so if that helps you with your sizing I've got big boobs <laughs> um, got some curves on me and that is how they fit and I'm five foot four inches tall or 163 centimeters if that makes a difference so as you can see I was pretty excited to receive the overalls and to try them on but first impressions only go so far especially with such a practical item and the proof is in the pudding or in the use of it i am in my rosie's overalls and i'm ready to go outside and do some work i'm going to be planting tulip bulbs so these knee pads are going to come in handy um, this is how it's looking i did mention in the initial try on that i thought i needed to shorten the straps because even though they're on their tightest setting i thought they were too loose but i actually think they're perfect if you like bending and moving i mean it's not going to fall down or go anywhere these I've got on the tightest button. If you'll remember, there's two button settings and I've got it on the tighter one. So they don't feel like they're going to fall down or go anywhere. Um, and I haven't hemmed them, but I have just done like a double roll. I'm just going to wear them like that. So feeling cute and snazzy and I'm going to go outside and plant some tulip bulbs. So I wore one of the pairs of overalls to do some work in the garden. I was planting bulbs and also to do some... DIY work with a table saw and I really wanted to try them out and see how they felt when I was working how they moved with me how sturdy they were how comfortable they were and specifically how the knee pads actually worked in a practical sense and I totally love them they are so comfortable to wear the fact that these straps are elastic and they were really soft elastic but they sturdy as well means that they really bend and move and stretch with you because when you're doing things like gardening and DIY it's quite active I'm, I'm getting up and getting down I'm stretching and bending and I didn't want to wear something that was restrictive and didn't move with me and allow me movement when I was doing my tasks they're totally comfortable, they allowed me to do everything without feeling restricted but they didn't feel like they were too loose or like they were going to fall off. The knee pads are amazing. I'm so used to having like a cheap crappy foam dollar store kneeling pad and having to bring that with me and every time I move I have to kind of position it again. Um, I love the knee pads because I could just move around and change position and they were right where they needed to be on my knees. I didn't have to drag anything with me and if I kind of had to be in a position where I was kneeling on two different surfaces like two different levels I didn't have to worry about only having one kneeling pad fantastic best invention ever I love the knee pad idea they are so practical and they're so lightweight that they don't get in the way if you're doing things like standing at a table saw but then when you kneel down to sand they're right there where you need them to be fantastic love it I found the pockets practical as well I didn't really use the pockets like at the waist or you know like where you normally put your hands in the pockets but this big front pocket it's got a flap which is great um can hold everything in there i put my tape measure in there and the flap meant that when i was using the table saw i didn't get loads of sawdust going down into my pocket there's also a little slot here that i put a pencil into that was really handy just to have them right there i also appreciate that 
it has a hidden inside pocket here so you can stash your phone i don't know can you see that you would have seen in the try on anyway it's got a hidden inside pocket with a zip it's really secure that you can put your phone and it's not going to get it's not going to fall out when you're busy working it's not going to get dirty or damaged or full of sawdust or dust or anything what i love about the fabric besides the colors oh i love it this is the eggplant and the one that you saw in the video of me actually wearing the overall to do work that is the raspberry color i love the fabric softness though it's got a soft it's almost like brushed cotton not fully but it feels soft and it feels soft to wear but it's also super sturdy i was kneeling on the ground i was you know sitting on the ground and obviously i've only worn them a few times but it hasn't shown any wear and they washed perfectly well i just threw it into a regular daily wash i didn't put it on to any special cycle and hung them to dry on principle i don't tumble dry things that are elastic i don't tumble dry bras or sports bras and these have elastic straps so i would normally hang these to dry i don't know if you can tumble dry them or not because like i say i normally wouldn't anyway but i just feel like they're gonna hold up really well I love that the pockets are deep. That is a specific design feature that is intentional about these overalls. The design is so well thought out. It's designed to fit a woman's body, but obviously not every woman's body is the same. So they are adjustable, like I showed the waist buttons. Um, they have the, the right kind of dimensions, like you're not gonna have a really low crotch or anything because they're made to fit women. And they're so super comfortable to put on and off. You can just kind of like, pop in and off them you don't even have to undo this because this is elastic like I said I was excited to talk about the company because I just I just feel like it's a great company and I wanted to be a part of it the creator Sarah Moore is kind of like my type of woman she does all sorts she does cooking and gardening and welding and DIY and all sorts of things hanging wallpaper and whatnot and when she went looking for overalls she couldn't find anything suitable which is what prompted her to begin the company and the company is run by women and they also try to benefit women so part of the proceeds go towards foundations and charities that empower women which i think is fantastic so they do have different products the bib overalls or what i would call dungarees which is what i'm wearing and that comes in different colors and it also comes in a lightweight denim there are also full coveralls so the kind of like a boiler suit that you'd put on and zip up with long sleeves and whatever they've got some in capri length as well they have some in short length so if you're a shorty you can look into that and that also comes in different designs including floral and check and they even have little girls overalls which are so cute there is also a water resistant option which is really handy if you're doing something like gardening especially when it's really damp out there and you know if you're going in between rain showers to do things in the garden and you don't want to get wet that's a good option they also have accessories like hats and tool belts and gloves and t-shirts that you can check out on their website they are 100 percent cotton and the overalls that i have are 72 dollars each like per pair that's us dollars and in the us it's 10 dollars for shipping unless your order is over 125 dollars in which case there is a code on the website that you can put in for free shipping they do ship internationally but i guess rates would vary depending on where you want it sent and if you are buying internationally then there are no uh, returns or refunds or anything like that so I'm super stoked to have been able to try these overalls. I know I'm going to get loads of use out of them. They are so cute as well. I just love the colors. And I feel like if I was in the middle of a DIY job and I needed to run to the shops to buy something, like I've run out of screws or something, I would just throw on some shoes and go. And I would feel super cute going out in my coveralls. Whereas normally I just throw on an old stained t-shirt and some gross old tracksuit bottoms. And I would want to change before going into public because they're that bad. But yeah these are really cute i think so anyway as for sizing there is a full sizing chart on the website you can put in your measurements and then decide which size suits you i was exactly between two sizes as i mentioned before um, and i was contacted again like back and forth in email to try and work out what the right size was for me um, i was asked for more measurements and i was still like just bang on between two sizes so i was sent both sizes and the smaller size fits me perfectly if I just want to wear it as is over a t-shirt like I'm wearing this one now this is the bigger size and it is slightly loose but I think it's fantastic to throw on over my clothes if I want to quickly do a job um, without having to get fully changed I can actually wear it on its own it's just a little bit looser than the other one but if you are exactly between two sizes I think you'd get away with the smaller size out of the two and if you're not sure then just email them the customer service is really good 
So that is my first impression and full review of Rosie's workwear, the ones that I've tried anyway. I would highly recommend them. I think they're fantastic. And it's a company that I would want to support, which is why I wanted to do this review. Check them out down below. I will leave a link, obviously, in the description box if you want to go and see uh, for yourself and maybe pick up something for you to wear while you're doing your projects. There's also a gallery on the website where you can share your photos of yourself wearing your rosies, workwear and doing your projects, which I think is really cool. Let me know if you guys buy any of the products. I would love to know which ones you decide on and if you enjoy them as much as I enjoy mine. So thank you to Rosies for sending me my coveralls. I absolutely love them. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.